On behalf of all Women National Institute, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all for today's event. I am very, very proud to announce that this week, starting from 22nd August to 28th of August 2022, is being celebrated as the iconic week of Azra Rika Amrit Magotsav. The great motivation and support from our secretary for being in CK Indias. Koyoba National Institute is very happy to send some of the lectures by eminent scientists and expert technologies, various fields for the benefit of our HPLA students. Also, this is a live program available in YouTube. These students and scholars and faculty will be very good. I welcome our respected and beloved team and associate deans of HPLA. Directors and heads of various groups of BRC, senior scientists from BRC, Dean Academics and Student Affairs, Communists and members of Tennis School officers and students from all disciplines and those who are joined. This year 2022 has been announced as interest. For sustainable development by the United Nations Council. <laughs> for not simply development, it is for sustainable development. So, with sustainable and economic development <laughs> without destroying the ecosystem or harming the environment. So, preserving or protecting the environment for We do not inherit this yet from our parents, but we borrow it from our children. And it is not optional for us, but it is our non negotiable duty to. Rejection of carbon dioxide into our environment, sustenance of our ecosystem. If you use a car, it emits 4,007 kilograms of carbon dioxide in a year. Altogether, if you take the total tons, it contributes and 142 million tons of carbon dioxide, out of which 123 million tons is contributed by the. So, so in this regard, electric mobility will contribute to. Like faster adoption and manufacturing of electric vehicles in, in India. Which is providing subsidies for electric vehicle production. Well, the electric vehicle industry in India is far behind, with less than 1% of the total vehicles. These are the announcements. A Millennium Transport and Highways Minister Ronald launched India's first electric double decker air conditioned bus. Recently on 18th August, the bus can be fully charged in 80 minutes and can fly up to 250 kilometers. 200 of such bus that's double decker bus will reduce carbon to save 72 tons of carbon dioxide annually, while the 200 bus can collectively save. 86,400 trees. Second, on August 2022, 15th August 2022, Ola founder Bobish Agarwal announced electric cars locally by 2000. Oil is Ola, aiming to sell 1 million electric cars. It has promised to its investors the $70,000 globally. However, still a lot of improvement has to be in these vehicles in terms of quality and longevity. Hence, today's lecture by Dr. R. Gobalan is having its high relevance and considered to be very challenges being faced by the electric vehicle. The body and non-negotiable. Yes, Dr. Gobalan is working as a regional director
Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Dr. Gopalan is heading the project centers of ARCI and IIT Madras Research for Chennai for alternative energy materials and systems. He is also holding the adjunct professor question at Department of Metallurgical and Metallurgical Materials IIT Chennai. Dr. Gopalan applied his master's degree in physics. He is doing physics at IIT Madras and Gopalan joined as scientist at Defense Veterans Classes Laboratory. He had a research stay of for nearly five years as we Japan during 2003 to 2010. Gopalan joined ASCI and established a new project center on automotive energy materials at IITM Research Park Chennai. Dr. Gopalan has published more than 160. His total citation is 2,945, Hatch 28, and Item Index of 89. He has guided on the reading previous work of many ARC and IIT and NIT. Dr. Gopalan has received many awards, and two of them are National Science Day Medal of Technology Award in the DMR 2019. Telangana Academy of Sciences. On behalf of Achieving My Family, I thank Dr. Gobarin for really accepting our Releasing the first talk of the lecture series on DAE's HPMI, also Lika Amrit Pogatha celebrations. Okay. I take this opportunity to welcome you all for the first session of DAE HPMI. Also, Dr. Gobarin, for accepting our invitation. Uh, usually, the profiles it takes a lot of time to read. The speaker will lose some time in uh, giving his uh, lectures. Thank you for uh, briefing to the audience who are here about my background. In fact, uh, I'm offline to discuss, but I think probably they're all on, online. So, this talk, what uh, I have decided to do. The RCA to develop and the materials for electricity being one of the national mission interest in our country. Of course, uh, when I cover this uh, electric vehicle concept and the materials, it was chemistry and the physics. One is for battery, one is for magnet, which are the two horses of the materials for electric vehicle. The energy storage materials for electric range application. We have huge opportunities for this students in the day, which I have personally seen from my lab point of view. Many of my business scholars are uh, being picked up by the electric range industries uh, very fast, even before completing the PhD, they are part of the positions. Uh, it is honored for me to be here. Program an electric vehicle, mm -hmm. man, for me, Baba, uh, the father of uh, our right globally on this area. So I just put this slide for me to remember for all of you 
it is the canvas that you are all living. Where, uh, uh, our, uh, we have a kind of bad uh, research lab where uh, uh, both of the we have uh, Chennai where the, I have established the center for <laughs> storage, where we have most of the technology related energy hub activities are going on there. We have uh, some office in Delhi. We take out the international collaborations uh, and liaising with the government. We have uh, various centers of excellence. Faculties or deans and directors and students who are all watching on online. To get familiar with our institutes, the uh, interactions can be also carried out. We have Center for Nanomaterials, Characterization, Monoxide, Ceramics, and so on. The two which are flashing Center for Fuel Cell Technology, Center for Automotive Energy Materials. One more I have established the uh, last polling is it's called the Technical Research Center for Alternative Energy Materials and Systems. On PPP board, that is public private partnership board, where we have to take our materials technology to the industries for large scale, uh, uh, industrial scale production facilities. I have framed my talk very simple manner. Basically, the materials which are all needed for electric vehicle, only two materials I will cover about it. This demand, what is going to be the future and the opportunity? So I think uh, the uh, front runner for electric vehicle. What is happening in terms of the technology? What or 2025? What is going to be the future of this demand vehicle? If time permits, this is part of it. Magnets, which are all important for motors and electric vehicles. What are the challenges? This talk, uh, what we are doing at the ERC. APJ Abdulkalam. But I hope with him in the RDO, here's the energy assert which we are lacking the country. 2020 was the dream that time we put. Now we are talking about 2030, we should have the energy sustainability of the subs. We are moving inch forward. As uh, Dr. Christopher mentioned, that 1%, 2%, we have realized it. But we have to move for in terms of realizing 30% or 40% in 2040 or 2050. That is his dream, what he put as sustainable energy, his dream. The energy demand in various sectors. I cannot put all the sectors starting from the water everywhere, but I put three potential industrial sectors like portable devices, it's called electronic uh, sector, transport sector, stationary applications. You can see that uh, the last row column, typically energy repaired uh, for a unit of uh, laptop or your mobile. You may need one watt hour as a typical energy. If you go to transport, on the other hand, you need to have very high energy. Example, car or aeroplane or uh, marine applications. You need energy density. That's something huge energy demand. Stationary applications like uh, grid applications and industrial scale applications, network, transmission operator, generation, and all. It's going to much, much higher, 100 megawatt hour to megawatt hour. This data, I made it uh, through these collections in 2015, but this number is going to be much, much higher now on 2022. Very fast. On the other hand, we are not able to meet the supply of that energy. Consequence, I have to look into that as a center. Uh, of my lab, which is DST process. The 
type field code. Uh, this slide I put as the 21st century energy crisis in transportation sector. I'm going to automotive sector. I cannot cover all the uh, things which I put electronic and other things. So, the distribution of oil, if you take into that, industry 25%. There are various uh, applications I look for. The consequence you can see that all polluted volatile gas is emerging out. It is alarming, not environmental friendly. If you're going to depend only on oil as the energy for transportation, the green line is going to increase down the line. That means the demand of petroleum or oil is going to be very, very high. On the other hand, it's going to have here, we are going to have a huge. We also see that wars which are emerging out, Ukraine, Russia war. We don't know what going to be other kind of consequences we are going to face in coming years. This petroleum gap is going to be here. Widen, going to widen, widen, widen much higher. So the energy demand for transportation sector is going to be very high. Other side, if you look at the energy loss, don't use all the 100% energy for driving it. Essentially, 25% or 30% is only being used. Rest of the energy is lost in the form of uh, exhaust, hand, heat, paid meter heat, friction heat. So much of uh, energy is lost. So 75% energy, we are losing it. So one hand, we have energy demand. Uh, guys, are we able to take the conventional or already existing materials to improve it? From so that these two categories, demand and loss, can be compensated. Now, very alarming situation. You know that consequence is temperature rise, and it's going. Canadian map. So this is very alarming to for our next generation, next generation people. Really, we are seeing that air pollution. I have also the data which gave a clue saying that the cities which have more pollution are vulnerable for coronavirus death. That means air pollution plus higher coronavirus is are more common in cities like China and India. We have seen in Delhi, even Mumbai, what happened, even Bangalore. All these statistics have given a clear picture. It's a time that we will really control the uh, environment so that we move forward with our next generation safer. So, solution is maybe uh, there will be, but as a uh, person working on uh, automotive sectors, we look at the electric vehicle as one solution for energy crisis. The left hand side cartoon. You have a rechargeable battery. It's a red one. And they control it. Rechargeable battery is battery chemistry. Motor is nothing but with magnet, the physics. And controller is electronics, which controls uh, or interfaces the battery and the motor for the driving the vehicle. We can have many combinations of this electric. We can have a yeah, hybrid electric vehicle, and we can have internal combustion engine, which is normal vehicle which you use, or a CNG gas when we use CNG gas plus electric motor plus a battery. It's called hybrid electric vehicle. So what is in this? I will come back to that. But for the revisit all these inventions, we have to go back to the. This is a man, Michael Faraday, physics, if people want to know about it, his invention of the electric motor. And uh, gross battery, 
we know that it was discovered in the uh, somewhere around the 1825. Then 1835, this plant, Sibaran is uh, starting he made first uh, battery electric vehicle. This was the one which uh, he has uh, demonstrated in 1835. Then came the late acid battery invention, 1859. Gaston plant came, he discovered the late acid battery. Then with the full scale electric car was made by Morrison, 1888. This called the late acid battery cells run by electric vehicles. Has a slightly higher voltage. So, we told them that his Edison battery, he ran 1000 mile endurance test battery electric vehicle with a barrier of three or three demonstrated also. This was the Edison battery tried in automobile successfully. This is how it looks at, but you can see that it has by 1910 or not have beautifully transformed it here, very comfortable electric work in a project in Japan. All these things happen because of discovery of new materials, technology, device fabrication, or all the things happen because of the discovery. The carbon footprint and the electric vehicle. Why do you talk about the electric vehicle? Three kilometers. One trip, if you do that, 300 kilometers a day. You are going to generate 180 tons of CO2 per year. It will reduce by 25% of CO2. Yeah. On okay. the other hand, if you go to pure electric vehicle, you are going to near net zero, almost zero emission of CO2. This is where the electric vehicle plays a crucial role for our carbon footprint. And that's where the, all the countries are pushing these programs. The amount lost in 10 years. Starting with the electric bike, 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 four wheelers, buses, or not. And all the things are all sporadically here, they are having the batteries, but they all depend on import of the batteries. They have import from China or Germany or Korea. That's why the cost of these vehicles are also very high. Even the magnets for motors, they are. Kind of here, the exercise to develop technical know how transfer to the industries, cost effective, so that the technology can be transferred to the industries. We have the my battery program, super capacitor, we have a film fuel cell, magnets, we have both the soft and hot magnets for electric vehicle applications. We have thermoelectric, thermoelectric, I mentioned that, but you know that. We to exhaust pipe in a car. The temperature goes to 100 degrees to 600 to 700 degrees. That is the waste. You have to convert it to power. So we use the seatback coefficient, seatback effect, convert the power into the use. So this is called thermoelectric. We also program on magnetic coloring. It's called magnetic refrigeration. All of you will know about it, the physics people. Through the magnetic field gets cool. It's adiabatic magnetization, isothermal demagnetization, equal to compression and expansion in a normal way. So these are all the programs which initiated at the ARC in Chennai Center. Interaction with many of the other labs and the institutes in the country, industries also. Uh, I will just uh, start with uh, the battery first. <laughs> what uh, the interest it has generated for the electric vehicle sector. For the chemistry people, 
I need not tell about uh, how your battery works. You have an uh, angle, you have electrolyte, you have a cathode. When it's connected to the circuit, chemical reaction occurs that causes electrons to flow around the circuit and you get that power voltage. So this is a very simple thing. So we have uh, many possible combinations of uh, anodes and cathodes on the lithium ion battery family to get uh, high energy density and high so that uh, we can go for yeah, better batteries for electric rig. Before I go into the technology for the student's purpose, this is called, I make uh, some terms, technologies to spell about it. In the battery technology, always uh, we refer certain terms or energy density. There is nothing but energy available from per volume or weight. Okay, that gives how far your vehicle can go. That's a message. If energy density is very high, your vehicle can go for longer range. Power density, power available from your battery, per volume or weight. This is a message that how fast your vehicle can go. That's a message power density gives. There is also the industry term. Or discharge, break between its maximum capacity. If have the extra the capacity, whatever the kg or whatever that, how fast rate at which you can reach that and discharge that. Okay. And you can define 1C, 0.5C rate, 0.2C rate like that. An example is given that 1C rate, students can send overall the like this, you can read this. 1C rate, nothing but 1C kind, means a fully with a capacity of 10 ampere of air. That's a meaning. Okay? The industry people, to spread, if you go to the one C rate, what is the capacity? Two C rate, point five C rate, all these things are specified. What is the meaning of all the things? Energy storage system chart with the power density as y axis, energy density in the x axis. What are the available possibilities to have best system which you can use more energy storage? Capacity <laughs> that the blue color, light blue color, it has again and the common athletes are the best one. It has relatively high power density. Gas turbine, they have high power density, high energy density, but which we don't want to use it because of environmental, they are not environment. So that is the most preferred energy solutions at this moment. Waiting on good enough. Yes, you know, all these people receive double price in chemistry for the lithium ion battery emulsion. These are the people who really make a major breakthrough. The lithium ion battery family, again, we should know that uh, compared with other batteries with the power density and energy density, nickel carbium, nickel metal hydride, lithium ion, and Best at this moment having high specific power and high specific energy. This is where all the groups in the world are working on making various combinations of lithium ion battery and its chemistry for either anode or cathode. I have a simple, uh, some kind of uh, configuration. Right inside is anode materials. Complete. 
the chemistry family, you can have from three volts to five volts a huge range. In the anode side, we can have 0.2 volts to 1 point. A combination of cathode and anode, it can really make a wonders to make an open circuit voltage, which is needed for whether you want to have three volts or 2.5 volts or four volts or five volts, like that combination, you can work on these chemistries. By doing that exercise, Are important. I put as triads of lithium ion cell with a different chemistry. The first one is a spider chart I have put here lithium iron phosphate. It is well known as LFP. The lithium nickel cobalt, I mean, called NCA. The lithium nickel manganese cobalt is called NMC. So, look at all these three spider charts. There are five parameters I have hinted it. One is energy density, power density, safety, cyclability, and cost. With all these five parameters, the first one, lithium ion cost, has relatively a good combination of all these parameters. Safety is an important thing. We cannot play with the electric vehicle with our person's life. We have seen that many accidents have taken place. The tropical Weather conditions like India, the lithium ion phosphate is the best chemist for battery applications and their I put here. I will not read each and everything. You can have cylindrical cell, you can have prismatic cell. Each one has a different process methodology, how to make each one. To make this kind of shapes. Uh, yeah, for layman to understand, I have a car to run a distance of 500 kilometer. I don't ask for a battery of lead acid battery to run in the 500 kilometer. Then I need about 3000 kg of the weight to 500 kilometer. On the other hand, we take nickel material, uh, 1200 is the weight of the battery. The rate. But to use lithium ion battery, the weight is 500 kg only. Energy density, so that you can extend your range with the reduced. I put your red line, the sort template, I put that. We have to go beyond that still. We have to invent super battery so that the weight can be still less than 500 kg. That is 200 kg, less than 200 kg. With also the energy density very high. Quality reports are emerging more with the materials of that nature, laboratory inventions. So these are the things which really uh, statement to the chemistry group, chemical engineering group, to go for near chemistry, near for battery applications. But recent time, we are seeing that in India. Caught uh, fire in the last, I think, uh, four months or five months. Many incidents uh, have taken place. Yeah. What's happened to these uh, fire accidents? One is that there is going to be a strong circuit. Other thing is electrolyte gases, you know, at least we we'll have 80 to 100 degree temperature rise will be very. In the electrolyte, if it breaks, okay. also there is an internal resistance. The some reason, if it increases the internal resistance, there will be a thermal runaway heat will be generated. There are multiple problems are there in the batteries. We have really taken. Thank you, brain, or you know. It has to control the brain. So this is the brain controls many things. So the battery management system basically takes care of most of the things. Even then we will fail in the battery management system, the electronics thing. So these things are all yeah, very, very, very important in the EV technology. 
government of India at a serious level because it costs the life of your president. Uh, this is dramatic. You have to make this levy. That means I know the capital. It makes it to be a, a good viscosity. You should have a good viscosity. You have to quote it on a copper foil or aluminum foil. Then they operate the mixture, whatever in your slurry you have used it. Then you have to roll it and compress it. Then flick the electrode. Then in multiple operations. Finally, you end up with the bulk cell of this type. We can also have silicon type to have the final shape, but the operations you have to go through the entire steps. Uh, we have the slurry mixing unit, which is like almost uh, like a medium and coating unit, calendaring that means it intensifies the electrodes, plating machine, start winding, tab building, lead building, electrolyte building. After all the things, finally you have either cylindrical shape or rectangular shape, or a house cells also we can make open fit. This is how the fabrication lab will look like that. Since we are dealing with lithium, we will have controlled humidity. We have the orange controlled with less than 1% in electrode fabrication. And then the assembly site less than again 15 percent. We place all the equipment inside, and at a time eight persons can work for half an hour. We have camera to monitor it because your nose will get dry. We spend more than half an hour or 45 minutes. So we put the next shift guy to go inside six people work on that. So it is being monitored through the cameras, so that uh, we have the uh, control humidity is not affecting the health of the person. So these are some of the shapes which uh, we have made with uh, the yellow. Uh, Assorted types of batteries, uh, we can make an available to 100 ampere batteries for various applications. A small movie for this is called us to understand uh, how the process We went to the manufacturers, the vehicle manufacturers. This is a pure electric. We already tested it. We can see that the cow, what I have shown at the top right hand side corner, the discharge capacity. Once you charge the battery, 
the research capacity is very much important. The retention of the capacity. You can see that at what one C rate at 0.5 C rate, 95 percent to 97 percent we are able to retain. Very very excellent, amazing, and it's what industry was looking for, putting into applications. The number of cycle still going on, and this uh, is going to be the future sets for industries for manufacturing large scale, which we need that already. And Demonstrated the cells with a, a few electric vehicles, which is a husband, former uh, DRDO chief, as was well the DPO member. Here, I see this uh, scooter running with a big DG is also there, because a Muthi is also there. So, here, yeah, see, cells were given for testing. And any technology uh, demonstration. Autos, for example, autos, retrofit autos are very, very important. The yeah, auto rickshaw of 60 volt and 8 kilowatt hour that if you run with auto, it incurs about 350 rupees to 400 rupees per 100 kilometers. Whereas you put a battery, it will cost only 40 rupees per 100 kilometer. This is again two years back data. Now the petrol price is very high. So the normal petrol now it went about 500 rupees. So this will be much cheaper. So the industry has taken the technology. The person is uh, uh, out here. Transforming this technology to the industry. It's called DP drive. The setting of the plant, cell manufacturing for its own application for e auto shop. Then we have uh, the training program because uh, the India is really the human resources for battery technology. Any cell manufacturing technology I can take look at it. We do not have proper skilled manpower. So we have tied up agreements with the industries that we will give the training to the customers. So we have complete training like theory. Uh, Prism and itself, all training will be. Now fully trained to make the cell so that they can go to their industries, start making their cell manufacturing when the plant is ready. All the things are beautiful. We have the material, the technology, cell making, all the things are very good. But the most important thing is that as a material scientist, chemistry, physics people, we worry about cost effective. Or is there any better materials for batteries? The whole battery cost, what I have shown, is 100 to 150 dollars, US dollars per kilo. That's the pipe chart which I have put here. If you look at it in the entire pipe chart for 100 to 150 dollars, 40% really goes for raw materials and processing. That means that as a material scientist, I'm going to play a crucial role in taking care of the 40% cost, how to reduce it, or I can invent a new chemistry or invent a new process for better performance. So this is what I put that material piece cap. Separator, electrolyte, coils, binders, and so on. But in the, all the things, if you look at it, cathode, anode, separator, electrolyte. So we have here a much important role to play to work on the cathode, anode, separator, electrolyte, so that we can reduce the total cost of the batteries. This way, the ARC played an important role. Uh, look at it, the anode, cathode, and the separator in between. It is a very, very much complex uh, phenomenon taking place. One is that there is a tendery formation in the lithium ion batteries, which will clear the 
in the cathode side, you can also have dissolution of the metals in the electrolyte. These are all very, very complex problems, which people may not understand that very much. All these problems we are addressed for cycle life to be longer. That means your battery will charge it. You should have longer cycle life. So we have to address all the things. So we have uh, patented our process with the innovative technology. We have lithium ion phosphate powder. Carbon coating helps for electronic conductivity, and also much more other applications. To do this process, your battery performance and the cycle life and also self life all will be very good. This is your transfer this technology to industries. Uh, cathode material, we need to protect the electron materials from outside the environment. It's called surface protection. Otherwise, Moisture on stream will attack the electro materials. And also during storage, so when you buy cages of the electro materials, but same time, that's why you'll be using it. Once you open the drum where the cathode materials are stored, you are exposing you to a stored water. So if you do the carbon coating, it's also going to protect during storage protection from the environment. Addition in electrolyte attack. During battery, when it is in operation, the cathode material, which are nickel, manganese, cobalt, or whatever the transition metals, it will dissolve or attack by touch of hydrofluoric acid. The electrolyte is all of hydrofluoric acids. So it's going to have a problem of dissolution. So the carbon coating will help. Uh, simple uh, thing, and also the carbon helps for because all these materials, lithium ion phosphate, all these are like insulating materials. So carbon helps for electronic connectivity. So on this called continuous uh, reactor setup, where we can batch from 500 grams, you can go for one kg level. In carbon coating, and you can have the cycle length improvement. For example, the bottom one, the specific capacity as a function of cycle length. With carbon coating, you can see that it is steady. So that's what industry wanted it. Okay, this is one material in the same magnetic cobalt, which I have put here. Uh, we can mine phosphate, NMC, LTO. The people are looking at what is going to be beyond lithium because lithium resources are going to be a major problem. After some time, there's going to be a trench of this uh, available of materials. Sodium ion batteries, magnesium ion batteries, zinc ion batteries, aluminum ion batteries, metal sulfur batteries. They have high energy densities. 1.5 to 3 volts, but there are a lot of other issues like a foot order, which uh, I can tell later if someone wants to know about it. This is where the research is going on. Or 2040, if they land up, which is some best. So, you mind that is already we have started working on it. There's the application at this moment because its weight is high, three times higher than lithium. Okay, how much time I have? Another 10 minutes? So I'll stop at this moment with human battery. If any, I'll get back there. Uh, you can uh, to, uh, ask. The magnets, this is the physics part of uh, the electric vehicle. For research purpose, students' purpose, I made some slides. As the metallurgies we used to make from stones age to the present age. I made it for magnets also like that. The ages of magnetism is about the seven ages or eight ages. Glowstone, 
that Microsoft Tool Force is not going to feel nano micro and such materials, spintronics, and so on. It goes now. Maybe beyond that, now artificial intelligence, machine learning of magnetic materials, we're only emerging a lot of these days. These are the pop makers, Michael Faraday, Ross, Maxwell. We are much more people. Gilbert, Oyster, Faraday, Fury, Van Gogh. <laughs> all these people, some of them are mathematicians. Turn into magnetic guys giving theories. Magnetism is a wonderful example of how basic science flowing from a magical Natural phenomena can become omnipresent in our lives. I used to say that without magnetic field, we can't imagine any other applications. The electricity is a big magnet. Well, we are living. This is a man we call as also the father of magnetism. We call somebody the father of aeromagnetism, Edmund Sistoner. He mentioned it. He mentioned that he's not in the reports on progress in physics, 1948, abstract. Rich diversity of aromagnetic phenomena has the fundamental character for theoretical problems. There are many challenges for experimental process. Those days, uh, experimental difficulties were there to invent new ferromagnetic materials, but also the range of applications were not that much those days. Limited number of substances. So, because of that, ferromagnets have really generated a lot of interest. This was one of the early electromagnets. Page from Faraday's um, Faraday's day, first Faraday transfer by handwritten spent 40 years into it. The first electric motors, Michael Faraday's 1821. Then uh, three phase motor, Nicolo, plus three phase motor. Then Edison's electric fan. These are all the inventions, uh, those days which occurred. Now you can see that the uh, first electric motor, Faraday's one, to the hybrid. Vehicle and Toyota car, the fantastic car. These are all the things are invention of the we have uh, both the uh, spin magnetic moment and the orbital magnetic moment. Together, it's contributed to atomic magnetic moment and much more physics behind it. Any materials we have, they are magnetic, and uh, in magnetic itself, paramagnetic, ferromagnetic, anti ferromagnetic, very magnetic. Each one has uh, many applications. So you can see that M versus Hachkov will be familiar to physics people. The first one. Is ultrasound. That means almost uh, zero point zero 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 five or is fixed the proximity. That will be a very narrow species count, which is needed for your uh, transformer core applications. The second one is uh, just a soft magnetic material where the proximity can be about 10 or straight. You can see the loop slightly open. There's a semi-hot magnetic material. Third is it's a scout. It is slightly still open, it can go up to 10 to 300 or straight, which is the air clouds, where the magnetic recording, you know, the block box, you have to have the thing of this nature of this system. And the last one, we have a champion of this, is called permanent magnet, which will have a wider species of flow. That means you can store more energy in that. Again, it goes. Concept is from the domain concept. The domain is something like a region in a material where your magnetic moment all oriented in one direction. When you apply the magnetic field, all these domains will try to orient along the direction of magnetic field and translation magnetization. That's a concept. Once you go to the maximum field, it becomes Early magnetic field, all these domains start moving and trying to become a single domain. This is a simple concept, but based on the material, intrinsic properties, size all will change, all will change, right on the shape of the uh, 
That's how the rare earth covered magnet will have a void, whereas the soft magnet iron will have an arrow resistance current. Okay. So, this is the model for applications. It is a material which will store magnetic energy. Magnets. There are some materials which have a magnetic field, just magnetized, but when you have a magnetic field, it just magnetized. They will not be useful for energy storage applications or terminal magnet applications. Variety of materials we have in the terminal magnet category. I have put a chart here. Right, aluminum nickel cobalt, sabine cobalt, native iron boron magnet. This is a very thermal magnet. PRC, I think we have one of the uh, work we did in 1985 when I was there in DMR. And we used to give a lot of magnets to PRC for various strategic applications. The so sabine cobalt and native iron boron, the x axis, y axis, you see the energy product. That is nothing but B. Versus B into H, and the very shadow which I have put in its recent scope. That's the energy storage in the magnet. If that is very hot, your magnet size will be very small. The last two magnets I call the champion magnet. They all have high energy product. Because of that top one, if you look at it, the size of the magnet for strategy applications. Aircraft, space, missiles, you need to have all these magnets smaller size. That means you need to have high energy product. Very high because they cannot put big, big magnets for, for the size. Otherwise, the volume of the magnet, if it is high, the weight of the car will go high and it will reduce the efficiency of weight. Very, very important. These are the people. Invented all this uh, important weapon magnet. Takasan and the Takeshi Son, Takai Son from Japan. By accident, they discovered the ferrites. Then came again Mishima from Japan. He invented the next generation magnet, aluminum nickel cobalt, with the higher priority and uh, reduced iron content. So, this is uh, the aluminum nickel cobalt magnet. Then again, a major discovery from uh, US Air Force Materials Laboratory in 1985, 1966 or 1985, 1972. The discovery of samarium cobalt 5 magnets and samarium 2 cobalt 17 magnets. Very important for strategic applications. Even for our uh, BRC, also we look for that magnets. So this has uh, named as one of the important milestones for in materials and engineering history. Around the world. Those days, there was no Nobel Prize for engineering. So, this was rated as one of the important discoveries. And when I joined BMR, this was emerging as one of the potential research. We started making this technology. We invented our protocol, how to make these magnets with such energy product, and made the applications available for many industries. This man, <laughs> Dr. Sahawa, 85 years old man now. I worked when I was in Japan, I used to interact with him. He was the one who invented the sand pit map, 1982, Nanino Iron Boron Magnet. You can see that she lifts one gram magnet with a 200 gram of water bottle. So this is what uh, the, what you call excitement in the rare earth magnet community. For these rare thermal magnets. I, for energy saving and the miniaturization of portable devices and information technology. Without this, our modern society, we cannot think about it. I will not go into the detail of applications. The process of these magnets is like powder metallurgy route. We go by conventional melting, powdering it, applying a magnetic field, pouring each powder and go for compaction and synthetic. We also process by mel spinning method. It's called rapid solidification technique. We can pour it using induction melting method. By doing so, we make the metal 
interesting the domain size. That's the concept with uh, this uh, rapid processes establishment. We drive our vehicle or 50 places in how motors, which we may not imagine that multiple applications. All these applications you have come and that gets used. So this is a wide, wide, uh, what you call a yeah, billion uh, dollar pitching business for the auto industries. Very simple. This man, Michael Faraday, he invented that. You had a stator, which is ignited in the current uh, carrying. We have a rotor made out of a permanent magnet, either a random permanent magnet or any other permanent magnet. The stator, when it is ignited with a current carrying coil, it's going to produce a magnetic field. And the rotor, which is a permanent magnet, which produces a magnetic field, it will be opposing direction, each one. They will rotate, which causes the rotation of the. That the major problem with electric vehicle is that the electric vehicle RPM is very high. Thousand RPM, even up to ten thousand RPM. And such an RPM goes motor, which is going to generate heat. If the heat is generated, magnet, permanent magnet, reduces its property. No use for electric vehicle. Because the electric vehicle needs the proximity, one of the important parameters, and the temperatures should be maintained. This is what the message. The Toyota Peter's called, we have a hybrid division system on electric vehicle, any electric vehicle if you take it. And if you look at it, the motor temperature rises. The motor temperature rises, the property drop. In order to compensate the property drop, with the 99 volt magnet, we have this close here, heavy ladder, which is not available globally, only China it has. India, I think traces, you know, I think geographical, I think AMB is doing a lot to identify the places where we can trace this close here. If you have this close here, then you can compensate the loss of the property, any property. This is what the crux of the problem, which uh, we have. By using very, very, very minor level of dysprosium and coat it on the boundary of the particle of radiant boron, you can see that without coating the blue one, the magnet, after coating, you can see that coercivity has to go very high. I don't go into the physics of it, how it increases, but the coating makes the blue particle, the skull parent magnet, as a single domain size. And it allows for the coercivity to go very high. You can see from the electron microscope at the boundaries how they are distributed. In order to look at it more carefully, here we have from nothing but you have yes, the power of your hand, pin type, radius of the tip will be 3 and 50 yards. Apply the high potential. Ionization, there will be a gas for ionic. So, ions will be detected at the position set to detector based on the mass of the atom present inside. Your time of flight will change. You can really map what you are seeing at the top. Each dot is an atom. You can see that the boundary green color is a dysprosium atom. Maybe dysprosium, which I have shown in electron microscope. They are distributed the boundary very nicely. That's with the matrix and all, which I'm not shown here. But the powerful tool, three dimensional atom group, and how the permitted profile changes and all. So many applications of the permanent magnet. Of course, this levitation. All of you know that you have a repulsive mode levitation, and uh, we have uh, uh, superconducting. I don't want to go into the detail. Uh, this is a levitating thread. How it goes? So this is 
I moved from the superconductors to those days, this must have been cash and copper oxide superconductors. You have a track of uh, any line for one lapel. You put it on the top of the fully integrated in the temperature. Then it becomes a nice linear push that keeps moving around the track. This is the concept of uh, the superconductor derivative. The message is what I want to give is that permanent magnet also very useful. The radioactive core magnet is more limited in the applications. The hot bulb for isros, which we have made, then windowless applications quite high. We need tons of tons of magnets. Strategic applications, which I want to hear more. Many applications we have done that. There's a magnetic refrigerator applications for which a permanent magnet is important again. You need to have the yeah, thermal magnetic material, apply a uh, magnetic field, gets heated up, remove the magnetic field, gets cooled. We made the first prototype device. I think, I think Professor Yachty is also working here in uh, VRC. We also demonstrated that the IIT Madras here, how it works based on the Catalina based magnetic refrigerator. Immense applications, never ending future for thermal magnet. The guys who are working in the areas, uh, you know, <laughs> and, uh, Japan, Korea, China, they're all picked up very fast with industries for the. Uh... Okay, so with that, I will try, try to close it. We are living in unexplored materials galaxy, and as physicists and chemists and material scientists, we can make several breakthroughs. Instead of incremental research, let us try our things. This I put it for uh, this is called this. Uh, there are many, many, many ways to. This is my team, which work on battery and uh, magnets. There are many other groups, but I put the battery group and for this uh, program in the ARC. So with that, I would like to close my lecture. Thank you very much. So one is answer one or two questions. So when we say that uh, we have uh, the electricity would be probably somewhere. Suppose we then we are making conditions. Is it that the pollution is only redistributed? It's a yeah. Not the point. This is the point is right. We are not looking somewhere. But it's also a calculation that uh, electricity needed for two lakh miles of uh, uh, to run an electric car, the 3.2% of electricity only is needed. So that is a good sign because it has been calculated by Magendra and Magendra group. They told that uh, the environment is very, very small. So that way, earlier we thought that they are dumping it to <laughs> yes, and this is a problem, but it's not. So the percentage of electricity is very small. Uh, sir, my question is that uh, uh, how solid state electrolyte can be implemented in this electric vehicle? Because you know that uh, there's an interface of resistance and. That's my question. It's going to be the future. So, the electrolyte is going to be the next one where we can really avoid the same, we can get it out the safety aspect. The uh, electrolyte is a culprit, basically, liquid electrolyte. So, the solid electrolyte is a tremendous uh, boom for uh, electric vehicle industries. But it's all in the nation stage, the initial stage. So it's another three, four years we are doing and watch. We are also working on it, but uh, the big project is level higher. But uh, how the, the resistance in so you have to reduce the, the interface of resistance. Uh, there's going to be a overlap. 
and we have to like this side of the capital because all are almost like the same competitions. You know, for, for example, lithium will be always uh, this side, the anode side, cathode side, you have the electron like side to avoid the crossover of this interface. So the process is very, very important. Yeah, good, very clean interface, clean interface and set the resistance is less. Then it's, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's emerging materials technology. Like there will be uh, something with a job. We have done something. Uh, we are going to take it up large scale fabrication of that solid electronic batteries. One of the things that you talked about the voice. Yes. Would you be able to uh, get something like a one Tesla, one and a half Tesla magnetic field? Yeah. Or is that not of interest to you? And the second part, how large uh, a permanent magnet can you make? Or like a sector type. It will be like a sector in applications. In motor, for example, if you take a motor, it will be like a sector. Uh, each one will have about 2 mm thickness to 5 mm thickness. At the most, uh, uh, 10 to 12 mm of arc shape. Okay, uh, so if you have a yeah, process by which you can directly make the shape, uh, the other one is uh, coercivity is an important uh, property for uh, temperature dependent applications for motors. But the other part, of what you said is the magnetization of the other thing, uh, which is also important. We should not compromise that property too much. In terms of uh, uh, gauss, I want to put that uh, it should be retired. It should be retired. So that is uh, being taken care of. That's why very dilute amount of uh, additions will be used to the parent material. And a lot of micromagnetic stimulation in uh, predicting how much we can act so that we don't compromise the parentization. So ultimately, the problem with battery is the cost factor that is inviting the uh, improvement. So we have developed a process, raw material to make lithium ion phosphate or hydroxides. So lithium carbonate source in India is When we have found a process methodology where the process you can shorten, short circuit, uh, you can reduce the process protocol so that the cost of the process can come down. For example, 3000 rupees per kg of a demand for 1500 rupees per kg, which has been transferred to the industries for scaling up a scale at Hyderabad. So the cost can be reduced. By process and that protocol we have to work So that's not an issue. This, and also we go for large scale production with the example 2000 dollars per kilowatt over the cost of the battery. It was projected in Delhi, one of the meetings. Now it is 100 dollars, 2020. 10 years, you can see the drastic reduction in the cost. All the things because of that process innovation and demand large scale production. So it will definitely will come down. Of the raw materials, that's still a yeah, rocking uh, thing in our industries. We are seeing for this informative and interesting lecture on the opportunities and challenges and materials for EV technology. Thank you, sir. So, talk about our love, affection, and appreciation.
Thank you, sir. With this, the first session of today's event is coming to an end. We are going to have our second session by Professor Hindu. Please join us for the Haiti that is in the ground floor. All are requested to join back from the 